So what are the five things that you can't invest in? I know there's everything out there, but just talk about the five you can't. Yeah, typically, so the, the big ones are collectibles and, and stuff that you're going to use. So you can't invest in rugs or wine. I mean, obviously with wine, if, if you if the IRS said you could invest in wine, everybody would be hung over and broke when they retired. So that doesn't work. So that, you know, you, those are the collectibles that you can't flip cars. Uh, you can't do things if you're going to if you like a piece of property, but you want to use it today, you can't do that. That's that's personal use. And then there are certain people you can't invest with. You can't invest with a spouse or your children or your parents, but you could invest with siblings or cousins, people that are sideways on the family tree. So it's 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 a really small list. There are certain things like gold coins from 1920 you cannot invest in, but you can invest in all the bullion you want, which is modern gold or bars or silver. So it's it's a very, very small list of things. If you look at the list, and, and people can get a copy of the book uh, for the QRP book that I wrote, and you look at the list in there and you go, this is a giant list of things I can do. Why didn't anybody tell me? And it's called AUM. It's called Wall Street wants to have your money and charge you a one or two or three percent fee every year. So they're not going to tell you you can go invest in an apartment. You got to find that, find it out on unstoppable real estate wealth. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. It's true. Though. I mean, look, it is these loopholes are out there and it's how the wealthy get wealthier. And you know, if you know how to put your money to work and you know the legal ways, the legal process to do it, you can become unstoppable and create your wealth and get to a different level.